Hey everybody, I'm Becky Adams. Thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel today. Uh, first of all, I'm going to apologize in advance for um, my voice. I have been sick with the flu over the last several days and today is um, the first day that I'm kind of feeling feeling better, but I know that my voice is a little a little scratchy and I'm still a little bit congested. So I apologize um, for the scratchiness of my voice. It will be better the next time I film, I promise. So today I am creating a layout using a lot of really great adhesives, some of my favorites from ThermalWeb. And then as far as uh, other products go, I am using mostly the Felicity Jane Caroline kit. Um, this is the first time I've subs well, I didn't subscribe. The first time that I have um, purchased a kit in a very long time. I don't even remember the last time. And I have to say that I am pleasantly surprised. I've really had um, a lot of fun and I think that this kit is gorgeous. So I have two um, pattern papers that I'm using tr to create the base of my layout and I honestly had a hard time picking uh, two pieces of pattern paper that I wanted to cut into. I'm really glad that I got the paper pack add-on so that made my decision a little bit easier knowing that I did have a full second sheet um, to work with from each pattern. So. Um, I did take this um, dark gray, it's kind of a charcoal grid that has this um, really busy, fun um, geometric pattern on the back. And I gutted it so that I can still use the center of this pattern paper. I used this ThermoWeb Memory XL Permanent Tape Runner. Um, you've heard me talk about that before. It's um, my favorite tape runner to date. Um, I like the way that it holds. Um, I like the closure on it. Um, it's, and I've never had a problem with it um, sticking, I mean, not not adhering my, my elements together. Um, I do like that um, if I need to, I can pull it up and reposition it for a little while, and then it, it does um, it does adhere really well, though. And like, I mean, tomorrow I would not, or even in a few hours, I would not be able to to pull these apart. Um, but I di if I did need to reposition them right now, I could. So I'm working with four photos today. These are um, photos of me and my kiddos that we took um, last year for Mother's Day. So these are just slightly smaller than 3x4. And I initially was just going to use them against this background like this. And then I... Anyway, I decided that they got a little bit lost on this background and I wanted them to stand out a little bit better. So I went and cut some pattern paper to mat each of these photos onto. This is just another pattern paper from that Caroline kit from Felicity Jane. Um, I have stitched around the edges of each of them. Uh, simply to just add a little bit of texture and, and interest to each of the cards. That's not a step that is necessary, but it's definitely a good way to um, to make your photos stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to create this layout in kind of an offset grid. I guess maybe it is it's probably more of a, a standard grid than an offset grid, but this is kind of what I'm thinking. And I've got my laser square out here because I know that I'm going to use it um, quite a bit on this layout. The first thing that I want to adhere is this is my title. And I chose the title Mom Life. And to ground my title a, just a little bit, I'm going to use this um, branding strip. And 
I've got a little bit of the pattern stuck on this branding strip, so I'm just going to go ahead and trim that. But I trim this branding strip off of one of the pattern papers from the kit, and then uh, I cut it down to just about the same size as my title. And I'm going to use my laser square to place a lot of these elements. And I'm going to start out with placing this uh, border strip. I want my title to be slightly offset from the center. Not a ton, but just a little bit. And now that I have that guide in place, I can go ahead and place my letter stickers. And these are chipboard letter stickers that came in in the Felicity Jane kit. Okay, so now that I have my title in place, then I can go ahead and start placing the other elements on my layout. And once again, I'm going to use my laser square just to line things up. Um, you can also use a T-square ruler. Um, I just prefer the laser square. It's just easier for me. Um, I am not at all good at measuring. So this is, I think that they created this tool with me in mind. Okay, so now that I have my photos and my title in place, I'm going to go ahead and put my journaling card right there. So I'm going to create two clusters of embellishment. One is going to be right here where I place this doily, and the other one is going to be right here where I place this doily. And um, the bear cluster is going to be right here, and then this one's just going to kind of support um, and, and balance this cluster from down here. Okay, so one thing that I was impressed with with the Felicity Jane kits is the heaviness of the cardstock that they use in their embellishment packs. And I love that. Um, I love, you know, a bulkier, kind of heavier, um, better quality embellishment. Uh, but that also makes me um, reach for a different adhesive, which is no big deal. Um, I just love to use the Easy Tear Tape for things that are just a little bit heavier. One thing about this Easy Tear Tape, this is the half inch roll. Once you place something down with the Easy Tear Tape, it is not moving. It's a little more forgiving than like the red tape is, um, but it's not going anywhere. So when you're placing your elements down with the Easy Tear Tape, just make sure that that's where you want them to be because they they're not moving once you put them down. So the main, well I guess there's two elements that are the, the two large elements that are going to go in this embellishment cluster down here. One is the tag that I already have in place and the other one is this um, sticker. And the stickers in the Felicity Jane kit come and they don't, they're not cut out, they're cut apart sheets. Um, so you get to cut your own stickers out, which I think is kind of fun because I like that um, either I can leave a white border around my sticker or I can take it off depending on what I'm using. So I'm just using some 3D foam squares. To adhere this sticker into place. I wanted to give it just a little bit of dimension on my page here and I'm gonna overlap my photo just a little bit. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to add into this embellishment cluster and I'm just gonna tuck it right under that sticker there 
is this um, flare badge. And my favorite way to adhere flare badges is with the adhesive dots, so the zots. And I just want that flare badge just barely under that sticker. Okay, and then right above there, I'm going to add some fussy cut flowers. And these are flowers that I cut from pattern paper. And I'm going to just put a little bit, I'm gonna use the memory runner here on the bottom, on the very bottom, and then I'm going to pop the top of this flower up with some 3D foam squares. Okay, and then for an additional little bit of color, just to add that peach in, and a little bit of texture, I have another fussy cut flower. And I'm just gonna tuck that right there behind that flower. Okay, so I've got most of this embellishment cluster in place and I wanna work on this one up here for just a minute. So I've got um, this black, I guess maybe a charcoal color, it's not black black, but um, bow that I fussy cut and I'm going to use a a couple actually a few of the 3D foam squares in quarter inch and put them on all four points of the bow here sorry I didn't realize I was doing that out of frame but then here in the center, I'm going to use a clear adhesive dot, a small, one of the small dots, actually a couple of them. And I want my bow to pop off the page, but I would like the middle of it to stick right up against the page. So I actually should have put this little file tab in place before I completely adhered that bow. But I'm going to use the tape runner on this, um, even though it's kind of a heavier die cut. And I'm going to do that because um, I'm going to staple this in place as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is bring up some, some of this blue that's down in this corner, up to this corner. And I'm going to do that with another fussy cut flower. So I'm just being careful to not cover up any of my journaling. And then I'm also going to bring a little bit of this yellow that's down here up into this embellishment cluster as well but actually before I put that down and I should have done this earlier hopefully we can still make it work I have this rubber charm that came um, in the kit one thing that I have found with these is that adhesives react differently to the rubber charms and I've had a few charms that mix with the um, with adhesive, especially the Zots, and they create this really nasty slimy texture in, I've actually had it ruin um, a couple of my layouts. So the only way that I adhere these rubber charms is with staples. And then I have another die cut and this one came in the die cut pack. I did not fussy cut this one. And I am going to use the adhesive Zots to put this into place. So we'll just carefully tuck that underneath there and just be careful not to cover up any of my journaling. So I have one more small little bit that I wanted to add here. And that's just another of these yellow fussy cut flowers. And since I didn't put this one on a, on a 3D foam square, I'm just going to 
um, do the same down here and just adhere it on I'm using my tape runner okay so now that we've got that in place um, I'm gonna do just a little bit of embellishing and these sequins did not come in the kit um, but I think that they are super cute and will be perfect for this page so I'm just gonna sprinkle a few across the layout okay and as a finishing touch I'm gonna add just a couple of just a few black sprinkles and um, this I've got some inky black um, spray ink that I've had for a long time from I think it's from Studio Calico and so I'm just gonna use some paper towels here to cover up my photos and my journaling because I don't want um, sprinkles of ink in those places so I'm just gonna go ahead and put a few drops of black ink around these two embellishment clusters okay and after adding those ink splatters I think I'm ready to call this one finished so thank you again for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos and hopefully this layout provided you with a little of a little bit of inspiration for the upcoming um, Mother's Day holiday. So everyone have a happy Mother's Day and I'll see you again soon.